How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we are going to be looking at um, basically a random number generator. Um, you don't need to declare anything as far as using statements. This is part of um, the random... Um, I'm not sure if it's found in system, but um, I would guess it would be because we don't have to declare um, any other using statements. So anyway, um, we're going to declare a new random class. We call that random for random number and assign, make it just declare a, a new random basically. And we also have an integer face. And what we're going to do is do some stuff in the for loop here. So we're going to declare a count is equal to 1 while a count is less than or equal to 20. We increment that so this for loop will execute 20 times. And we will store the random class dot next, its member access function next, the next number, store that number into face. Um, next we'll take two parameters. The first parameter declares a number which cannot be, which will be basically um, equal to or greater than so it's going to start at 1 and the second parameter will be less than the um, the second parameter so we're basically simulating a dice roll here 1 through 6 um, the numbers will never equal the second parameter will be um, less than so you know if we went the first parameter 1 to um, 9,000 we would, we would be rolling numbers between 1 and 8,999 so after we do that we're going to output to the console the value of face and we want to make our output look pretty so every five numbers we will generate a new line so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see um, random numbers five numbers per line 20 numbers total. Um, again, we can close this, run it again, and we will generate a whole new set of random numbers. And we can also increase this amount. Um, let's let's roll it 100 times. Do the same thing. And as you can see, we have 100 random numbers that are generated here, um, all of 1 through 6. Um, I've written another example basically <clears throat> it does the same thing but it keeps track of the numbers that are rolled with face um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and we're gonna roll this dice oh instead of 6,000 times let's do oh, because it's running okay let's do 10,000 times so we'll roll that Basically, um, we're going to do the same thing with the random number dot next function, um, uh, six-sided dice, one through six, and we will throw the variable face into a switch statement here. And basically, if it is one, we will just increment the face one count because these are all um, set at zero. And um, if it's two, we'll increment the two count, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And then here we just output our results here. Um, and we're going to make it look nice and pretty here. The T is a, is stands slash T stands for the tab, the tab character, which will give us I, I believe five spaces. And the slash n backslash n is the new line, which will generate a new line each time this is encountered. So after rolling that ten thousand times, um, you can see we have pretty pretty close results um, each you know the chance for each number to be rolled is um, uh, pretty close there's there's not a huge difference now of course the chance could always be that one number will never be rolled but the the odds of that statistically are, are extremely low because um, because this does uh, generate a completely random number um, as far as C-sharp is concerned, I'm not sure where the number, the seed value will come from, but in C++, we use the um, time function, which basically will seed the random number generator to ensure that we get a random number every time. 
Um, so that's all we're going to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.